This is Jan Kega of Jammer Bonsai in Belgium and welcome to the Bonsai Academy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel because we want to share as much knowledge as possible with all you bonsai enthusiasts and passionates. So while I just talked about the first styling of an olive Yamadori tree, Olea Sylvestris Yamadori, this is another one from uh, Giovanni Mugnas that I acquired as well. And uh, this one was uh, my demo tree at the trophy. For me, it's very important to share knowledge. And in my opinion, most of the times you will see a finished styling tree with a lot of heavy bending. And for me, I took several olive trees in several development stages. And I want to explain how I'm going to style this tree from the first and how I'm going to improve it with the next steps. So. I will show you later some pictures as well uh, of this all of how it looked before the work. So you can see that here. And the first thing what we did was Anders Bicocca created this dead wood uh, with hand tools and then with silicate sandblasting we with silicate sandblasting it made these sharp textures into this dead wood what made this beautiful sculpture as you can see really magnificent dead wood work really beautiful and then afterwards we gave the, this tree the first styling so as you can see this happened in january of this year 2024 and we set this main structure and it already exploded a lot so what I want to do now is to generate the right energy to the right branches and cut away the branches that are not necessary. Okay. So that means this is our first branch. Do we need this branch? No, I can cut it. But what I also can do is I can just snap it at the base because if I would cut it, new shoots would come everywhere again around this part. Now it took this, um, how do I say this internode and here you see already a shoot. So it also took these buds. So it's not, it will be much harder to grow new shoots from there as well. Okay. Here as well, I'm going to do the same because this is an inside corner. I don't really need this and I'm, I can just, oh, that I still need to cut, but I can just like pull them out, just tear them down like this. Okay, this one also here in this junction, I don't really need this one, so I can pull this out, this one as well, and here are some more shoots. Yeah, this, these are not easy to get out, maybe when the wire will be gone, ah, okay, I have it. Okay, here I left two, because maybe one we're going to use for back, for the back side, because I want to create a foliage cloud here and maybe one here so and here we don't really have here we have this lump of dead wood so maybe in future we are going to make this more one more here so what we we need to do here this is our first branch because Anders Bicocca needed to work on this part he cut this this one so okay but now it's very important that we're going to um, create our foliage clouds this one I can divide in multiple foliage clouds maybe and this one still needs to become bigger this one is growing on top so this one will give volume then our branches need to be alternating and because this is an outside corner for me it's more interesting to use this one here and to cut this one here okay i'll use a better scissor and then my wire cutter like this okay then what's growing down I can remove, but nothing is growing down. This one is growing up. So one, two internodes and I'm going to cut because this will give volume. Then our next branch should be here somewhere. So here is an internode. So in future here will grow one, but for now, and then in future I can remove this one. Okay. But for now I will keep this one. Okay. Then if here's the next one, the next should be here. Okay. And then because here's my next one, the next one should be here. And this one I'm going to keep because this 
I am going to use as a sacrifice branch. So that means I'm going to remove these already because then this movement is the continuation of my primary branch. And these I'm going to remove completely. Because then all this energy or all the energy goes goes to here and this one will be sacrificed in the future because this one will make it happen that this one will get bigger so maybe I will wire this up so that it can grow towards the sun that it thinks that it's some sort of apex then this one I here you can see they grow sideways up and down sideways <laughs> not really and here sideways so I'm going to cut this one here that this one will become our foliage cloud this one I can remove until one or two internodes to create volume okay so what I'm, I can do now is I'm going to wire this one and this one and this one and this one because this is quite small always when you wire wire the branch closest to the trunk first always wire at the shoulder and not at the armpit as I say and now follow the wire that's already on your branch This is the branch that we're actually going to remove in future, but the eye sometimes want something as well, so I'm going to keep it for this, for this moment. Oops. Follow the direction of your branch and out like that always out because branches grow to the light or towards the light so if I would wire this one till here this moves so this is not good so I always use my wire as you can see here this wire moving here please as an anchor point so now you can see that my wire doesn't move anymore look it's steady Same movement out, same movement and out. This one needs to become a little bit bigger, okay?
So if I work my way to the top, I've already done this one. This one I wired and here I didn't need to use any wire. Here I have a branch but it's very beautiful going to this way. And here these branches are quite in a good position and even without wire I have created a beautiful foliage cloud without wiring it. So just by only cutting here as well. Here I created a beautiful foliage cloud with just some cutting. So here you already have a very beautiful shape into the street. Here as well. Maybe with some wire I could have done this a little bit. That's a possibility. Because foliage cloud needs to look like this and that. So this looks a little bit straight. So maybe with a little bit of wire I can do adjust it like this. And here I want to have the same shape and hook going up. So a little bit of wire will not mind. Uh, let me check where my small wire is. Right here. Just a little bit to push it up. Then here I cut several things as well because here we have created counterbalance and this one will grow a little bit here so that we create a foliage, a foliage frame, a photo frame, sorry, picture frame around the most interesting parts. And then we need to create movement to there and then back to there. So we will bend this one here to have it here because this one is here and then the apex is going to this side again. So I will be wiring that part as well and I also had to cut some branches from this side also. So let me check. Also very important is that I follow the wire or the direction of the wire. That's already on the tree, like this. Then this one can go to this side. And then a little piece of wire to give the apex the direction to there. And from there a branch will come Okay, and from here a branch will come that will, will go to there. Okay, then here in the back we have some branches as well. This one here to create depth here. And here some branches came also. So here we have two next to each other. The bigger one is already a little bit longer. So we're going to use that one and we're going to wire and to here, this one to here, together.
So, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel so a, a lot more people uh, get to know us and can uh, take the benefit of our knowledge that we want to share with you guys. That's also very important. So, see you until the next time guys.